Hello, this is Melissa Missler. We're in downtown Nevada City with the Constitution Day Parade, and we're also in a memorial for the decade of 9-11. We're filming with Brooke Video on our Constitution Day Parade. <laughs> Hello, this is Melissa Missler, and it is September 11th, 10 years since the concentrated attacks in New York City, a hopeful Washington, D.C., and the Pentagon. We did lose over 3,000 people that day. 19 of them were um, actually the hijackers, and all but 55 were actually civilians. We're very proud of the Americans and the way that they came together as a nation to support one another in this devastating time. Within two weeks, the death toll came up to 6,000. Most of that was from the inhalation of the smoke and debris. This was a major time in America where many of us can remember exactly where we were. This generation's first real war and forever on our nation. We're coming together at a Constitution Day parade in Nevada City and we're blessed with the patriotism that is being shown by fellow Nevada County representatives. We're excited to be part of this parade to commemorate freedom and what that means. For a decade, all of our troops have been fighting for freedom for all of us. And it's important that we remember what freedom tru truthfully means. So today you're gonna meet several different people from Nevada County. You're gonna see lots of smiles, flags waving, and we're very excited to be part of Nevada County. So take time to remember what freedom means and what we are thankful for here at the Nevada County Constitution Day Parade. I'm Melissa Missler reporting live with Brook Films in Nevada City. Did, uh, when you uh, get home later, if you want to look at the person that you have, uh, it, you know, you can, it'll... Hi, this is Melissa Missler, and on September 11th, 10 years ago, I was actually in Merced, and I was on my way to a beauty school where I was going to teach a cosmetics class. And on the way there, on the radio, there was different talk about something going wrong in San Francisco and different closures, and so I actually thought that we were preparing for an earthquake, that things were being shut down, and really didn't know what was going on. I went and did my class and came back home and on the radio actually started understanding what happened that day. When I got home, just glued to the TV set for hours, just in total awe, bewilderment of what was actually happening. As we started learning about the four different planes being hijacked and our fellow Americans jumping from the different towers to escape the heat and those hoping for rescue going up to the towers trying to get out hoping a helicopter would come and the roof doors were closed and just realizing that they had one last chance to call loved ones and starting to hear the different interviewers talking about what was happening and um, the one plane that actually did come together as a group and um, didn't make it to its destination um, as those calls started coming in to the operators. Um, it was just a new time for America where so many people did come together. You started seeing flags on houses like never before. Um, the radio stations changed and songs about America were coming out left and right and we band together. And so a decade later we need to remember what freedom is about and stay focused on our freedom and the benefits of what we have here in America. This is Melissa Missler, downtown Nevada City with Brooke Films. Thank you. Hello again, this is Melissa Missler with Brooke Videos reporting live in Nevada City. I'm here with Karina Boots, Mrs. Gold Country Ambassador. And the question that we're asking right now, um, Karina, 10 years later, can you tell us where you were and what effects 9-11 had on you? Um, 10 years ago, I was living in Montana at a trade show actually down in Palm Springs. My husband at that time was active duty military. My daughter was four years old and I'm at the end of one state and my husband is a, in a completely different state, several hours away. I did not know if he would be called back to fly to be more active duty in what he was doing uh, in the Navy. And so I have several friends that are in the military, past and present. Um, and so I had to call my mom in an absolute panic. Please promise me that you will get to my daughter and take care of her. 
Um, as a military spouse at that time, I can tell you it was one of the most frightening days of my life. Looking back now, I can't believe I wasn't more frightened. Uh, what this country went through, um, I am proud to say I am a military wife, always have been, always will be, even though my husband is retired. And uh, I just thank God for him every day. We were all devastated. My children were crying. And I kept them home from school that day so that we could mourn together. And you are the cutest ever. Thank <laughs> you.